Hey everybody, long time no see. It's Wednesday, June 9th and hot, hot, hot here in the Kansas City area. Thank goodness for AC, right? <laughs> I am so sorry. I have missed you all. I had, um, hey Stace, I had a, um, what do you call it? Root canal fail. So they pulled a tooth on Monday and I think the anxiety leading up to that just made me exhausted. So it was pretty painful Monday, but yesterday it was better. I was going to come on um, yesterday, but I'm working on a class that I'm very, very excited about. It is going to be a home decor class and um, I am this much left to finish it so I'm really excited um, to share it with you but it's just not ready to throw out for public consumption yet. Stacy says it's hot 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 here too. Well I love the summer so um, I don't complain about the heat. I want the sun to be out. It's baseball season so I am busy most evenings going to some grandchild's uh, t-ball baseball game which is always fun it's almost like reliving your children's childhood again only better because you don't have to do all the work you just have to show up and enjoy it <laughs> um, if you're here say hello we're gonna make a fun little card today I'm really excited to share it so let's get started I'm gonna take one more sip of tea I'm not supposed to use straws for I don't know how long. Hi, Donna. And I am a straw person. So it's been very hard for me to figure out how to um, how to enjoy my beverages. But So I'm drinking my um, iced tea out of a little, I guess it's an adult sippy cup. <laughs> um, anyway, I really like straws, but... Um, it's better for the environment, I guess, and um, evidently it's better for my oral health right now not to use straws. Okay, this is the card we're going to make, and it is so fun. It's a, um, gosh, I think I need to put my camera up. Sorry about the reach there. We need to get a bigger, there we go. Is that working? There we go. Uh, it's a slim line. So what you do to make one of these is take an 8 by 8 inch piece of, um, I'm using basic white cardstock, and fold it in half at 4 inches, and then it will fit in a regular, I think it's called a number 10 business envelope, or you know, a longer envelope. Um, I've shared in pa the past how to make a, like a pocket envelope that's really fun out of, um, cardstock and designer series paper but and you can buy nicer um, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell the envelopes for the longer cards we just sell the note card size so um, you're on your own on the envelope but these are very on trend the the slimline cards are very on trend right now and I just thought it would be so cute with this bundle that I um, I'm thinking of doing a card class on this bundle because I just love it so much. The paper's so pretty. Um, whoops, it's on page 60 and 61 of the annual catalog. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to get a catalog out to you. But it's a stamp set and the dies. I'm using, I'm using a lot of the images from the, the set. Um, and you save 10% when you buy both the dies and the stamp set together. If you have any questions about that, I would be happy to answer them. Hi Kay! Um, isn't this a cute little card? I love the little background paper. The paper is also from the suite. Um, it is called Your A Peach Designer Series Paper, and I'm using this blue polka dot, but on the other side you've got lots of peach. This is adorable. 
this little print. It reminds me of a nursery for some reason. This blue is cute. Little tulips, I guess. And then I love the stripes. You know how I love a good stripe. And then here, I guess, are orange blossoms. Or peach blossoms, excuse me. <laughs> and there is some more stripes. And some more polka dots. And here you have the blues and the Calypso coral and the peaches all together. There's just kind of a generic green. The green in this paper is pear pizzazz if you're trying to coordinate your colors. And that those are the inks I'm using today. I'm using the new um, pale papaya and the pear pizzazz ink and I pulled that from the paper. So like I said, you're gonna start with a piece of eight by eight inch cardstock. Score it at four inches and fold it in half. That's your card base. And then the first layer is gonna be our DSP and I cut it just slightly smaller than the card front um, because we're gonna cover it up with our um, die cut thing and I've got this piece of tape here to remind me where the center of the the um, desk is so please ignore the blue tape I don't know if you can see in the background <laughs> I'll show you in a minute but I had a shelf uh, fall away from the wall um, yesterday Fortunately, it was while I was pulling a stamp set off, and so nothing was damaged or hurt in the process, but um, I need to, um, well, my husband needs to get it back up there on the wall. He didn't use the, the big, um, I call them molly bolts, I don't know, he calls them something else. He used little ones, and I think we needed bigger ones. Okay, so I just cut a piece of like three and seven eighths by um, seven and seven eighths, just slightly smaller, just to save a little smidge. <laughs> I probably could have cut it a little um, less, or I could have cut rectangles if I was being really stingy with the paper, but I thought it would just be easier to have one pay, uh, one piece. That way, if you're, you know, happen to glance down, you wouldn't see. Um, any white showing through because I did consider doing three triangles or rectangles just to save paper. I always try and be economical that way. But I did it a whole sheet. I was uh, generous. <laughs> okay, to get our little windows, I used a die from the Stitch So Sweetly. I use these all the time. You guys, if you follow me or if you're on here a lot, you know that I use this set a lot. Um, just to get the scalloped frames in the, um, in the windows. And I'm taking a piece of four by eight, so that will cover the full front of my card. And what I did to get them nice and even and, excuse my reach, is I just cut three of them, three of the die cuts out of scrap paper and taped them on my uh, four by eight inch piece of basic white cardstock. I, you know, made sure they were all straight and all that. I used some, I got this from, Amazon. It's um, it's like a post-it note tape. You could use post-it notes to hold it in place. And then I use the die. I'm not going to do it here to sh um, bore you to death, but then I use the die. So you have to run it through three times to get your three windows. Um, and then you end up with something that looks like this. I went ahead and did it for us. And you might notice since I used the, the little templates or the little um, scraps or whatever, some of those cut off too, but you can just take your, um, 
I use my adhesive remover and just get rid of all the little extra um, pieces that might have cut off of the our little templates. Okay, there's a little tape that was left. Hi, Mom! Um, and then I put that on with, I'm using our um, foam adhesive sh um, strips, almost said sheets. We do have those too. But these were perfect for this project. But you just get several of these. They're kind of like our Stampin' Dimensionals, but they are in strip form. These are great for um, shaker cards. And this would make a really cute shaker card. Um, but I didn't make it a shaker card. So I'm just using these adhesive strips. I think these are a little um, taller maybe than our Stampin' Dimensionals, but they work great. Um, that makes them really good for, um, what do you call them? Shaker cards. But you could use any kind of, um, you could use dimensionals on this too. I just knew I had to cover a big area, so I just grabbed these strips. It kind of curls your paper up, but once we stick it down, it'll be fine. Put that right in the middle. Yes, Kay, the strips are much quicker than trying to peel off <laughs> all those little dimensionals. I'm assuming that if you mailed this card, you would have to pay the extra postage, which um, if you're mailing in the U.S., it's 75 cents. Um, and you can buy 75 cent stamps, which I do. I just buy them and keep them because I like my cards to be puffy. <laughs> so um, you'd have to pay the little bit extra. Unless postage has gone up. Okay. This is, I'm trying to not to get my head in the camera. What I was trained or how I've always been told to do is to line up one corner and then everything else should fall into place. And normally it works and it worked that time. So if you get one corner um, lined up well, it helps uh, to get everything else where it needs to be. So there's our little card base all ready to go and we're going to do some stamping. These are photopolymer stamps so I am going to use um, Yes, Donna says she takes hers to the post office because the non-machinable message can get missed if you stamp them yourselves. I bought myself a non-machinable stamp. Um, I think I bought it from Amazon. <laughs> so if you send out a lot of cards, which I do, um, that's a good place to, um, or that, that would be a good investment. I don't think it was very expensive. It was probably... Oh, seven or eight dollars. You know, it's a re-inking. Um, I can grab it real quick and show y'all. Or you can also write it. You can write it in red ink um, right next to your stamp. But I've got to get used to how my camera's way over here. Um, so I just purchased that from Amazon. So, yep, yeah, I do that. 
So that was a good thing to to uh, mention, Donna. Thank you for sharing that because you wouldn't want it to go through a machine and get massacred. <laughs> okay, the colors I'm using for my stamping are, like I said, the Pale Papaya, the new in color, and the Pear Pizzazz. And if you just do all your stamping, you can do all your die cutting, you know, just in a few little turns through the, the machine. We need two of these images. And we need one of these for our big peach. And those are what we're stamping in the um, pear pizzazz. So it was this image and this image. This image twice and that image once. This would be nice to use with other um, florals that you may have. Now, if we were just doing a one layer card, I could go ahead and stamp my flowers right on that, but I am going to die cut them out um, because I wanted to, um, you'll see when I get to the die cutting. I can't, I can't explain it. Okay, here's the big peach. I think this is so cute. And if you take your stamps, like I want it to be a little darker on the edge and the little top and kind of roll them, just the edges. You'll get a little darker ink right there. And I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. And it didn't really. And this, the stamp is designed for this to be lighter. You know how peach fuzz. I guess it's to make it look like peach fuzz. <laughs> And then we're going to grab another little scrap of Whisper White and do our flower images. And I don't know if I mentioned, I'm using a um, piercing mat. When you use the photopolymer stamps, you get a crisper image when you um, use a soft mat underneath them. Okay, now we need our sentiments, and I'm doing those in Memento. And I'm using three sentiments from the um, stamp set. because I had three windows, so I thought that was cute. Hello, thanks for being as sweet as a peach. Ooh. Okay, the, the coordinating dies, then, let me get rid of this now. I feel like I'm a hot mess today. I just feel like things are, woo. <laughs> Our house is just really a disaster zone right now. I was going to have a class this month, an in-person class, and it's not going to work out um, because, you know, things take longer than what you think. We were putting in some wood floors upstairs, and we decided to tear out our, we have a raised dining room, and we thought, well, as long as we're putting wood floors over here, let's, let's uh, tear that out. Um, because we haven't really liked it. That's the way the house came. <laughs> and um, it would have been like a two-hour job to do that. But lo and behold, there was some wood rot around our window over there. So now it's turned into this huge, huge mess. So my house is a mess. And I think it's affecting me. I'm a little bit of a mess. <laughs> okay, so here are all the dies 
So see, you could run this through once or twice, depending on your placement when you go ahead and stamp it. And then I use this little die from the set, whoops, um, for the thanks for being as and the hello. And then for the sweet as a peach sentiment, um, I use the mini messages, this, um, the die from this set. I didn't use a sentiment from that step, but this little square die right here was the perfect size for that sentiment. So I went ahead and used that. I love this little, this little die. I could have probably uh, done the other two using it as well, but um, the set already had them, so had this one, so that worked out. Okay, so I went ahead and cut those out so you wouldn't have to see me do all that work. Let's get these back in my bucket so I don't lose them. My husband's being very loud in his meeting in the other room. I hope you can't hear him. It doesn't sound ugly. It just He's just talking very loud. Okay. Get our card base. And... I'm going to put all this together. So here's my sentiments. Here's my two stems. Here's my big peach. Here's my three baby peaches. Don't peaches sound good right now? They had some at the grocery store this weekend, but um, you never know. You never know. Okay, so then I took one of the stems. Oops. And I just put a little adhesive here, here, and here. There seem to be a pretty obvious spot to glue them. I did not pop them up with any dimensionals because our card is going to be, you know, popped up enough. So there's that little vine of peaches. Isn't that cute? And then I did the same thing with the little, um, peach flowers. And then there were these tiny little dies in, that came with the set, and I just put them in the center, and we're going to add some gems here in a minute. After the fact, I thought, oh, that needs a little gem, but these were really cute, so I thought I'm going to put these in the center of these flowers. But this would also be cute to kind of add to the, the greenery and make it look like, you know, Several little blooms are on there, but I'm going to use them for the center of my flowers. Okay, and then the last thing is to put our little stem on this big peach. And I did it this way so that it goes towards the inside of the card. Alrighty, that's it. Now we just have to glue everything on here. So for this one, I decided to put a little bit of these strips on the inside of it. Just to give it a little bit of a um, 
stability. So I'm going to stick that right there. Decide where I want this. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my liquid glue underneath these leaves. Just to just to support them on the card. Okay. And then our little flowers, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Kind of using we got three windows and so I'm kind of using the the rule of threes here. Using some of that, um, these um, adhesive strips. Might have used too much on this one. And I'm going to put a little. Might put one little strip up top there. There we go. Nice. Coming together. And then our little peach here, our big peach, we're going to put down in this corner. So I'm going to take one little bit of this adhesive strip. Probably way too big. Okay, that's so fun. Thank you. She's going to case my card. It's really a fun card to make. Think about what you have. If you don't have rectangle, um, Dies, you could use circle dies to make some windows. Um, you could just do a lot of different things. Um, okay, so now I'm going to use some more of the adhesive strips and put my little sentiments on, and we'll be done. They just fit perfectly in here. In the little windows. I ordered the little turtle set. I don't know if any of you um, have the Stampin' Up! catalog. There's a little set that's got a little turtle in it. And I was hoping he would come today. He's due today. <laughs> I was hoping that little turtle guy would come so I could um, maybe use him for one of these cards. But goodness, I think I've lost some of my stick. Let's get a new one. So be on the lookout for a turtle card. Maybe next Monday we'll make something with my little turtle um, card. Turtle Punch and Turtle Stamp Set. He's just adorable. Okay, I'm going to pop that there. And then our last one. Okay, so if we had put a window sheet on one of these, we could have put some sprinkles or something in there um, and made that a shaker card. It's, it would be an excellent um, design for a, a shaker card. And one last thing I was going to do 
if I, I thought I pulled them out. I was gonna put the gems on the middle of the flowers. I might have thought about it and then didn't pull them out. Do, do, do. I usually put everything in a bucket that I'm going to use so that I don't have to go searching for it. But I wonder, you know how you get distracted? <laughs> like maybe I got distracted. <laughs> Look for the picture later today and I'll have the little gems on the, um... no, that's not it. I'll have the little gems on the flowers. <laughs> I thought it needed a little sparkle. If you know me, you know I always like to have a little sparkle on something. I always like to put an embellishment on something too, but these kind of act like an embellishment, the little, the little die cuts. So that was the card. Thank you ladies for stopping in today. Um, I will be back Monday. I think Monday. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Monday. If not, I'll let you know um, with another project. And um, go out and enjoy your the rest of your afternoon. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.